And we are to our last question. Mayanova. Please don't copyright me for this. Uh, empty cars. Uh, we're going to work at that data set. Uh, we're going to look at how gear, carb, and uh, am affect the displacement. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's close this out. Let's look at our data set. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it here. Actually, let's, let's look at empty cars just to begin with. So, do, do, do. No package. Ooh, let's install all these because of the new. Uh, ooh, what's going on here? Uh, tidy select. Excuse me here. Let's go ahead and let's do library tidy verse. Ooh, let's do install dot packages tidyverse oh I think it's installing now do, do, do. okay we're gonna have to wait a little bit for this it's not liking or it's just gonna take some time to finish up installing these packages So let's just give it some time. Got a lot of values here to investigate. And once this is done, we can do, we really need a uh, library tidy verse and we need library ggplot2 library good all right so now we can get cooking so empty cars so we are going to look at variables like uh gear am and what was else what else we were looking at how gear carb and am gear uh, where's my, I think cars are, carbs on the other, yeah, carb, gear, carb, and am, how they can, uh, how we can pull essentially those values. So we can do this in multiple ways, actually. Um, so let's actually go ahead and we can go ahead, empty cars, and I'm going to pipe, I'm going to do df select, and I'm going to do actually library r statics let's let's do install packages r statics do let's do library r statics all this good stuff here DF select, and then we're going to have this bars equals C, and then we can kind of select um, from empty cars. Actually, let's look at it. Oh, sorry, no. empty cars. So let's go ahead and select carb. I want to select. I want to select what else we were looking at. Gear am. Carb gear am. Am. And then how that affects displacement. DSP. DISP. Good. Let's see if it does it in the order that we asked it to. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. So we can set that as our. Actually, if we can keep it in the same kind of language here, we can keep this as our R select. So let's define this R select as our variable. 
So we're gonna set carb as a factor, we're gonna set gear as a factor, we're gonna select am as a factor, and we're gonna set disp as a displacement. Um, we want to double check, so you can see that, for example, am should only have basically one degree of freedom because there's two variables. So we could double check that in our data set. We can look at this a summary of our data and how it's treating it, good. Now we can do our Nova, which is gonna be disp, and then we can actually, let's type all this out, so it's good. Carb plus gear plus am plus carb gear plus gear am plus am carb plus um, am car carb gear. And we can look at this. So remember our am should only have one degree of freedom and we should only have two degrees of freedom for our gear. Which don't you like? Come. So there, let's do summary. And we see one for am, two for gear, excellent. So statistically significant, statistically significant, this 2A interaction, actually, what is our level of significance? 1%, so 0 0.01, less, good, good, yep. Uh, we don't have our 3-way interaction, but hey, that's okay. Um, so now we can look at, for example, our eta squared to get a sense of the size of the effect. Carb and gear are indeed important. The rest are relatively small. So let's go ahead and let's take, let's do disp and in terms of carb. Uh, that's, let's see here, it doesn't like that. What about disp and gear? It's probably easier. Um, so why doesn't it like uh, our displacement and carb? Well, we see carb has five interactions. Let's see, it's not gonna give us, um, yeah, again, it's, it doesn't wanna give us um, essentially the value there. Uh, displacement and carb, even though our ANOVA that way is too many. Um, excuse me, I'm just looking at a summary of these. Uh, displacement carb, yeah, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like us. Um, so can't get that value per se, and but we can look at this and we see there's a big difference between three and four. So let's start to examine this. So I'm gonna do carb and I'm gonna do disp. I don't want to look at this. Okay, so we're kind of biased in terms of the number of, if I want to maximize the displacement, I could probably choose, there is a big difference, actually for carb. See, the problem is it doesn't like the statistics here. Um, so instead of carb, let's look at gear. That's something we could actually talk about. Oh yeah, so there's a big difference like we see in our data set. So three and four is definitely statistically significant. Um, now in our minds, point one, three and five is very close, super, super close. So um, again, you can kind of make your own statement about that, but um, three, I would say is probably the, a good factor to try to use to maximize essentially that interaction. So there we go. That is it. We'll see you in the next exam. Thanks. Bye.